We'll guide you through how to use Forge and Fabric Mods together in Minecraft using Sintra Connector. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all close off Minecraft and then what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So I'll just open up Chrome but just before we get any further a big shout out to our sponsor Apex Hosting. They're my go to place for hosting Minecraft servers. If we scroll down you can go and check out some of the awesome features they have like one click install mod packs, 24 7 servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it with their live chat assistance and their experienced server administrators on there to help solve your problems and there's many other features features here as well like instant setup. So if you're interested there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and in the description as well and at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice so come and check them out. But to continue with the guide type in Sintra Connector just like I am now and then go to the Modrinth website just here. Now I'll go and take a moment to load. Type in Sintra Connector just like so and go to the Modrinth website just here. And then what you want to do is just read through here, just come down to the usage guide. So first of all, we're going to need to install Minecraft Forge. And here it's going to go and tell you the version they recommend to use. This may change in the future. For me, it's 47.1.3 or Minecraft 1.20.1. I'll show you how to find the versions. So first of all, we'll go and do that now. So open up a new tab and go to Forge. Type in Minecraft Forge like so and come to the website. Then all you want to do is come over to the left and for me the recommended version was 1.20.1 .1. and then what you want to do is click on show all versions and then it went and said the recommended version 4713 so let me scroll down here until I find it this version here come over to the right and click on the installer and then you'll be taken to an ad wall just be aware any download buttons here are for the ad the actual uh, download button for forge is in the top right so click on skip and then it will go and download. You can come and close off this here and we can come back to Sintra Connector. So next we need to get the latest release of Connector and drop that in our mods folder. So first of all, just go and install this version of Forge. All you need to do is open up your file explorer. Here we are in my downloads and I'll just go and drag it onto my desktop just to make things a little bit easier. And then what we can do is go and double click on it and it should go and launch. If it doesn't, then it probably means you need something called Java. So all you need to do is open your web browser up, go to a new tab and go to java.com or just search for it. Here it is, you can click on download Java and you can then go and install it. And then all you need to do is come to the Forge installer, right click on it, hover over open with and click on choose another app. Find Java and click on always and it will then go and open up just like so. If it still doesn't work, you may need to do something called a jar fix. We've got a full guide on that though and that just reassociates Java with jar files. Once you've got it open, select install client and click OK and it will now go and install. Once it's finished, it will say it's successfully completed. Come back to your browser and come back to the Sinatra Connector site. So now what we need to do is get the latest release of Connector. So let's come up here and click on versions at the top and we can then get this version here. So go and click on the download on the left and it should shortly go and start downloading just like so. Now that it's downloaded, come back to the description and see what we need to do next. So we need to get the Forgeify's Fabric API. So then what you want to do is go and click on it just like so. Now go to the top and click on versions and make sure we get the same version 1.20.1 .1, and we can click on the download on the left here. And then once again, let's come back and find out what we need to do next. Now we should be able to use Fabric and Forge mods together. It's important to note that it's worth checking out the mod compatibility thread as here you're going to find out mods which uh, do work and which don't work. And of course you can test others as well. So if you then scroll down here we can see the mods which are sort of confirmed to not work and confirmed to work. So in this case I want to go and get the immersive portals mod so let me click here it'll go and take a moment to load and then this is a quite a cool mod it sort of allows you to go and see through portals and yeah it looks cool so click on versions and then of course make sure we get the right version so we need 1.20.1 I'll get it for fabric so I'll come over to the left here click on the download and it will then begin. And now what I'm going to do is go and get a forge mod. In this case, I'm going to get the just enough items mod. I'll click on files and this is actually available for um, fabric anyway, but I'm going to get it for forge. So let me go and get the same version, which is 1.20.1. .1. So here it is. I'll then come over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file and I'll wait for it to download. And there we go. I've now downloaded a fabric and a forge mod. And next you need to open up the Minecraft launcher just like so. 
Go to the left in the launcher and select Java Edition and then go to the top and click on Installations. Scroll down and find Forge and go over to the right while hovering over it and click on the folder icon like so and your Minecraft files will open up. Now scroll down and find the mods folder just here. I'll delete what's currently in here as it's for a different version of Forge. And then I'm gonna go and drag all these different files in just like so. So I've got my two mods, the connector, and then the fabric API as well. We can then close off that and I'll go back to the launcher. And then what we can do is go and run it. So click on play and then go to the left of the play button and select forge and click play again. You need to underscan the wrist of modify Minecraft and then press play and it should now load. And it's now loaded. Now, if you're finding yours is crashing, then this could be a sign there's some sort of incompatibility. So try removing the mod and using another. But now if I go into mods, you'll see quite a lot of fabric stuff, but there's one mod, just enough items. And then if I scroll down, I should find the immersive portals mod. So there we go. Now we can get into a world and we should be able to go and use them together. And so here we are, I'm using immersive portals, which is for fabric. And if I open up my um, inventory or whatever this is, we can then go and see we've got the just enough items mod on the right here it's that simple and as you can see it looks super cool using immersive portals as well so if you guys found this useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video